We take a, a really iterative approach at Elroy. We try and focus first on flight stability and making the aircraft totally stable through the entire flight envelope, which really integrates well with the flight testing approach that we have to developing our model and to understanding our aircraft. Computers only work so well in terms of trying to predict how the aircraft is gonna perform. And that's a big part of, of flight controls is understanding the dynamic response of the aircraft to any type of input. Uh, that includes like an input like a gust of wind or an input from a pilot or an input from some autonomous pilot, which is the ultimate goal. Uh, and so in order to start small and scale up to a completely autonomous aircraft, we start by just focusing on the challenge of making the aircraft stable and predictable throughout the entire flight envelope and trying to fly in conditions or operating points that we think we have a good understanding of. And then slowly creeping out from there, reassessing to see if our understanding of the aircraft is good. Uh, if it's not, trying to use the flight data to make it better and then using that improved model from the flight data, we then can make changes to our flight control system and make sure that the aircraft is stable a little further out on that edge of our safe envelope uh, until we finally achieved our goal of flying the entire flight envelope. And then we kind of reel it all the way back to that first condition and we add a new layer of autonomy. Really, once you've shown that you're stable, the first time, that's kind of like the keys to the kingdom. The second and third iteration should happen really fast and really with, without a lot of surprises.